we met up with Cap, uh, BJ Manny still. I think we're going to hit up a warehouse or something like that. Or maybe we're going to go hit up something in the Moco. But, <laughs> that's the second person I passed that's done that. Last time it was the Steven guy from Ocean County Power Sports who just bought his 2017. This time it was Banny. But like I was saying, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go hit the Moco Road. We got Capybara on the way back there with his brand new K1 Kawasaki 125Z125 Pro. The bike looks super sweet, man. It's definitely got. You know, a couple flaws here and there, but I mean, it's the same shit as the Grom, essentially, except it's a Kawasaki. But he was saying, like, a couple of the parts were pretty cheap, and it's kind of hard to find different parts for the bike. So, VJ almost just died, too. I don't know if you guys saw that, but VJ definitely almost just died. But if you look at Manny's bike, dude, look at how, look at how big Manny's bars are. I'll see if I can get closer, but they're so fast. But Manny's bars are like the size, the size of like a big, huge like Raptor handlebars. They're pretty sweet. So we only got a couple more hours, maybe one more hour, and then we got to call it a day. Mother's Day today, although when you'll be watching this video, it won't be Mother's Day. Shout out to the Portuguese Club of Long Branch for letting us ride with you. That was fun. I put the baffle back in my bike. I don't know if it does anything for the bike, but I put the baffle back in, so now it's a little bit quieter. It's not much quieter, just a little bit quieter. And, uh, the bike has a little bit more power. I don't know if it's just like a placebo effect or something, but I feel like the bike has like a little bit more power, and that's really what I was going for to be able to keep up with people like fucking Manny and VJ over there. The second they tuck like that, dude, they, they just take off. Can't keep up with them. And I'm not doing any motor mods to keep up with them. If you know anyone looking for a Grom, I'm selling mine. 3,500. This person's lost over here. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, that's the Freehold Retro. I haven't been back here in a long time. I, I want to do so many more things to the Grom, but at the same time, I don't want to do anything to it. I've already put too much money into it. I've already gotten enough out of it, so I don't need to add more stuff to just go overhand. I'm in the process right now of looking for a truck. I need like a, I've been looking at Chevy S10s, Chevy Silverados, Toyota Tacoma, Toyota Tundra, Tundra, Tundra. That wasn't an echo, that was me saying Tundra over and over again, so you know. But yeah, I've been looking at a truck to make these rides a little bit more cooler. About to be pulling up to Namoko. I'm gonna try and get in front of Manny and VJ. But it's probably not gonna work, dude. They just got the weight on me. That's it.
they take off. Wait for it. Alright, they're good. Uh, there's no way in any, in any instance that I'll be able to catch them. <laughs> Marco, Marco back there got into his airbox mod. He said all the wind is just getting stuck right in his airbox hole. Which sucks. So at least I can hang with Marco. These guys, I'll never keep up with them, not even in a million years. <laughs> Look how far they are. Did you guys hear that laugh too? That laugh was strange. Even with the baffle in this mic, it's still pretty loud. I'm like bothered by just hearing the sound already. off a VJ. You guys probably can't see it because the GoPro. But Manny was just drafting off a VJ. Marco's catching up to me. That's not good. We're going to take a picture of Collier's and then I got to be out. Alright, you want to stop by that lake? By Collier's. What? The Collier's Lake. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Take us all the way out to the end and make a left. Uh, I thought you wanted to go, remember where we stopped on that death bowl? You took the trail there, right? Nah, it's the next left. And it goes right to that, right to that pit. How do we get out? Back this way? Or? Back this way, yeah. Right, whatever. That's it right there. <laughs> There's a way. Hey, you moved that log? That was nice of you. Yeah, I moved the log. I'm gonna say, we can go right through there, dude. The rest of the way is easy. Go ahead. All right.
almost ate it. Almost ate it, guys. That was close. Uh, yeah, this way. What's going on, guys? Yeah, there's a crowd back here, huh? Yeah, buddy. Yeah, we made it, Grom Squad. <laughs> I went right down the middle. <laughs> Grom Squad. I just cleaned my bike too. <laughs> 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 Ground squad. <laughs> Brought the Grom out to the. Oh my god! <laughs> Brought the Grom. Oh my butterfly almost went right into me. I brought the Grom out to the woods. What's he saying? He pulled upon us in the Hummer. Yeah. He followed you guys back here, but it didn't seem like he was really looking for bunch of balls. We got license plates. I was going to say, I think they were more shocked to actually see the... <laughs> Little Groms out here? <laughs> Later, man. Alright, guys. That's it for the vlog. Shout out to Marco to finally making it out. My foot's all wet. My bike's completely filthy. Shout out to Manny, first time rode with him, cool dude. VJ's cooking it. Clean off my shoes. These rubbers suck once they get wet. My footrests suck. Alright guys, I'm this is vlog. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Check out Captain Morris channel. Check out NJ Grom on Instagram. I don't know if Manny has any social media, I'll find out and I'll post that online. But, yeah, it's been real, guys. See ya. So I just left Marco, Manny, and VJ. And... Let me wipe off the GoPro and make sure that it's clean. And now it's raining. So this is the first time that I've rode in the rain on the Grom. The intake is like right out in the open. Of course it's not a waterproof intake. So we'll see if we make it home. We're not too far from home, but from what I hear, these tires are really sh crappy on this bike. Ow, that hurt. But, yeah, not bad. It's stuck in the rain in the <laughs> in the ground. At least we got a good day of riding. We were out since 9 o'clock this morning. You know, it's now 3 o'clock, so at least it was a pretty good day of riding. 